getting a work visa to teach in China. Thinking of heading to China to teach? Great choice! Your first priority is to get the right working visa. In China, this is known as the Z visa, and this is the only way to work in the country legally and get paid. Securing your work visa can seem complicated and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, we're going to explain the most important aspects of getting a working visa for China. 1. The visa requirements 2. The visa documents 3. The visa process 1. The visa requirements Requirements can vary slightly, but they generally revolve around three prerequisites. Have the right nationality First up, you need to be a citizen of one of the seven recognised English-speaking countries. They are UK, Ireland, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Teachers from Caribbean countries are accepted in many provinces, but there are exemptions. Have the right qualifications. You have to have a bachelor degree and TEFL certificate. If you are a fully qualified teacher, you are excused from needing a TEFL qualification. Clear criminal background, which means you cannot have any kind of criminal history. 2. The visa documents. Having your documents in order is crucial in getting your work visa. Number 1. A valid passport. At least one year left of validity and plenty of blank pages left. 2. Your bachelor degree. The good news is that your bachelor degree does not need to be in English. It can be in any subject. 3. A criminal background check. China requires all foreign workers to hand in an official police check from their home country and any other country they have lived in during the previous five years. Before the visa process can begin, you need to have your bachelor degree, TEFL certificate and the criminal background check authenticated by your country's government. It then needs to be legalised by the Chinese government at your local embassy or visa application centre. If you're not familiar with this bureaucratic process, authentication means taking your documents to government offices and having them officially stamped. Legalisation means taking them to the nearest Chinese embassy or visa centre to have them stamped and approved. 3. The visa process The first thing you should know about the Z visa is that you can only apply once you have secured a job in China. Why? Because you first need to send a copy of your legalised and authenticated documents to your employer. Then they will send you an official job invitation letter and work permit notice. These you will need to apply for a work visa. Now that you have those key documents, here is what you need to do step by step. Step 1. Make your initial application online, upload your documents and fill in the visa application form. Step 2. Make an appointment online with your nearest Chinese embassy or visa service centre. Step 3. Hand in your application form and all relevant documentation. Your application will be reviewed. If your documents are in order, it will be submitted for approval. Step 4. It usually takes one week for the process to be completed. Once you receive your visa, it is time to pay for it. Visa costs vary from country to country. Only once you have the Z visa in your passport, you will be free to move to China and start your new job. At China by Teaching, we help teachers from all over the globe find their dream jobs in some of China's most reputable schools. For more info on applying for a visa and teaching in China, visit us at www.chinabyteaching.com. Hold tight, life is about to get a lot more interesting.